Hello everybody, welcome to Mirrors Innovations. This video will show you how to make a short video that will work with most LED sign software regardless of the brand. If your LED display will play Windows Media video files, this video will show you how to make one with Windows Movie Maker. If you need Windows Movie Maker software, you can get it from Microsoft.com for free. Let's get started. First, you want to add a title to your movie. The upper bar here represents the background video. The lower one represents the text that you want to display. Select the text so that you can edit it. Down here. And then you can highlight the text. Then up here we can adjust the font size. Or you can click the buttons below to just make it bigger or smaller. But we're going to start with 60 for now. If you highlight all the text like this and start typing, you can see that the text changes. We're going to make a video for a fictitious restaurant that has a fish fry every Friday. You want to keep your display clear by making sure the text is big enough to read by your customers and also to keep it on the screen long enough for them to read as they pass by. By default, each title that you add is 7 seconds long. We're going to add another title for the second part of our message but you can see by default the software put this at the beginning. We can change that around by dragging the beginning of the bar that represents the title to a different point in the video. We'll put the first one back at the beginning. Let's get a hold of that. And then we're going to put the second part right behind it. You can see the two sections here. They're both seven seconds long. Our black and white text is kind of boring and a little difficult to read, so we're going to spruce things up a little here. Let me highlight the text, and then I can make it bold, and I can increase the font size. I want to make it as big as possible and still fit on our display. Also make sure that it's centered. And we can modify the text color a little bit. I'll just pick a color here. And then let's add a border. You have different size borders that you can do. We're just going to pick medium. And I'll pick a gray color for the outline. I'm going to change the uh, font color. Let me change it to black and you can see the border makes the text stand out from the background. But the black background isn't very exciting to look at. We're going to change that. Keep in mind that a white color or very light background will be brighter and it's going to make your display use more electricity. Also be careful when choosing your colors. Don't use something that's too obnoxious. You want to get attention with your LED sign, but you don't want to be too annoying. I'll show you an example here of a color that might be a little over the top, but it's definitely an attention getter. I'll have to put this color in at the first half of the video. There you go. It's just a little bright, so we want to kind of tone this down some. You can go back to custom colors pull this slider down, it makes it a little darker. And that looks a little better. That's perfect. You can see each section of the video has its own properties, so we'll have to make the background and text match for all the sections. I think we were using 110 point for the font size. We're going to go ahead and add our border. We want to make the text color black, so that's the same. And I want to make sure my border color is the same. I'm going to pick this third gray down for both. And then I need to set the background color so they match. There we go. 
the default effect for the text is for it to zoom in and get a little bit larger. Adding an effect with some slight motion to it attracts more attention and it also looks better on the display. We use control systems that can display video, but if your car doesn't have much processing power, you, it might look a little clunky on your side. For this video, we're going to play, play with some of the other effects. You can see them change as you hover your mouse over them. I think I like this one for the si first section. And we have a mirror of that effect for the second section. If you use a three color scheme for your messages, they stand out really well. I've used a darkish background here with a black text and the lighter outline really helps it stand out. You can use your company colors or change things up a little bit so that way uh, folks that pass by your sign every day will notice that there's a different message because it's a different color. This is looking pretty good, but it seems to be a little long. We'll watch it through a couple times. But I think I might want to trim this down a little bit. It's just a little bit long. If I select this first text section, watch this one more time. There you can see the different colors. You want to make sure you don't have too much bleed over. Okay, let's trim this down. The first section goes from zero seconds. That's where it starts. And the duration, I'm going to make it three and a half seconds. And then I can drag the second part to start right after the first. I didn't quite nail it. It needs to start at three and a half seconds. And I'm going to make the duration also three and a half seconds. Okay, so now I have everything on the seven seconds. So I'm going to select the second part of the background video that was originally for the second part. And I can just select it and then we're going to delete it and get it out of there. watch this play through. I'm pretty happy with that, so now it's time to save it. When you select Save, by default you have several different options for the file size, but for LED displays I'll usually make a custom file size so the file is easier to play and it'll look a little smoother. We can, if you try to use an HD video with the LED signs, it just ends up being a really huge file size, even if they're only a few seconds long. So cut, cutting them down makes it a little easier for the display software to handle and process it. You can see some of the custom sizes I've already made, but I'll show you how to do that here in a second. I've got a 192 by 108. That's one-tenth the size of HD, but it keeps the same aspect ratio. And the 348 by 216 is one-fifth the size of HD, but it keeps the same aspect ratio also. You might use this if your control system is a little more powerful. To make a new custom setting, scroll to the bottom and click Create Custom. You can name your new setting and select the pixel size. Leave the other settings here, the bit rate and frame rate, to the default and click Save. Once it's saved, click Close. Now we can save a file using our new custom settings. You have two choices of available file types to save as. The first is an MP4 file and the other is a WMV or Windows Media Video file. Make sure the file type you pick is compatible with your sign software. If neither one is compatible, you might be able to get a free software and convert it to something that is. But that's a topic for another video. More sign software can handle the Windows Media Video file type, so I'm going to use that one. Then, once the file is saved here, I'm going to have the option to play it. Keep in mind it's going to be kind of small on the computer screen because we only specified a size of 192 pixels by 108 pixels. 
saving here. And we can play it. And that's looking good. So we're going to go ahead and conclude this video. Thanks again for visiting Mears Innovations and let us know if there's any way we can help you with your LED sign needs. Go to MearsInnovations.com and send us an email. Have an awesome day.